Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Avid Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts related to science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding fine COVID recovery patients. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the box below. Okay, the question reads: We are given a table called patients with three different column: patient ID, patient name, and age. The patient ID being the unique identifier for this table. Each row contains information about a patient. We are also given a second table called COVID tests, four different columns, test ID, patient ID, test date and result. Test ID is the unique identifier for this table. Each row represents a COVID test result. The result can be positive, negative or inconclusive. We are asked to write a solution to find patients who have recovered from COVID, that is, patients who have tested positive but later tested negative. A patient is considered recovered if they have at least one positive test followed by at least one negative test on a later date. Calculate the recovery time in days as the difference between the first positive test and first negative test after that positive test. So this is a very important thing because it is possible that you can test positive and negative multiple times. The recovery time is calculated as first positive test and first negative test after that first positive test what's the difference in days only include patients who have both positive and negative test results return the result table ordered by recovery time in ascending order then by patient name in ascending order okay let's go through this example here we have five different patients their names and ages and then we have the covid test so let's look at for patient id 1 patient id 1 tested positive on 15th of January 2023 and then tested negative on 25th of January 2023. So, yes, this should be in the output. Who is patient ID 1? That is Alice Smith. Age is 28 and what's the recovery time? 10 days, 15 to 25. Similarly, we can go ahead and do that for other patients as well. And if you look at this, in our output, we do have patient ID 1, Alice Smith. Okay, so to solve this question, what we first thing we need to do is since a patient can test positive and negative multiple times and we need to have an anchor point of first positive so we can rank that is partition by the patient id and the result because same patient can test positive and negative multiple times right so we can partition by the patient and the result and order by the test date to get okay what are the ranks and rank equal to one for result equal to positive that is the first time the patient tested positive so let's go ahead and do that from this table called covid tests let us return all the columns so select star and then rank we can use anything but here i'm going to go ahead with row number and since this is a window function you need to write over clause and then for every patient and result so partition by patient id and then the result order by the test date and let's alias this as rank 1 okay let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we get in our output so if we look at our output right now what do we have here is for each of these patients right so the first time this person tested positive was on 15th of January so rank equal to 1 tested negative first time on 25th so rank equal to 1 and similarly we have this right so if you look at patient ID 3 the first time this person tested positive but uh, this person has tested negative twice on 20th of January and 22nd of February right so you see ranks 1 and 2 assigned okay once we have this information we can use that okay wherever your rank equal to 1 and result equal to positive that is the first time this patient has tested positive and that becomes our anchor so let's save this entire thing in a common table cross cte so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and now from this common table expression what we are going to do is let us do a join or self join of this common table ex expression on itself why so that we can get for every first positive when do the person tests negative as well and we can get that in one single row so what do i mean by that is let's do this for from cte as c1 since we are doing a self join 
this should be alias as two different names so let us do a left to join of the common table expression itself as c2 on c1 dot patient id is equal to c2 dot patient id and c1 dot test date is less than c2 dot test date why are we doing less than test date because our goal is to get since the question says the first time you test positive and the next time or the first time you test negative after testing positive so that means the test date of the positive should be less than the test date of the negative right so that is why we do this and we are also so okay let me just go ahead and return everything for now uh, since this is going to be a very long you know uh, columns and it won't be easier to visualize so let me just return the important ones so c1 dot patient id let me do c1 dot test date and then c1 dot result uh, c1 dot rank and let me also do c2 dot test date and c2 dot result okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so now if you look at this what do we have here is we have this person you look at this right so in one single row you have on the first time this person tested positive 15th of january and then negative on 25th of january so since now right now what we are doing is we are joining on patient id and test date from c1 is less than test date from c2 what we need is we need only the first time the person tested positive that is our anchor point so how do we filter for this because if you look at this you also have these kind of rows which is not important for us similarly you don't need positive to inconclusive you only need positive to negative right that is what we need so we can do is let's filter that is where your c1 dot result is equal to positive and you need the first time this person tested positive so c1 dot rank 1 is equal to 1 so first time testing positive and from positive you need to have negative let me just run this right now so what we are going to say is from positive to negative positive to inconclusive or positive to positive we don't need that we only need positive to negative right so what we can do is add an additional filter that hey because these columns are coming from c2 right so we do c2 dot result is equal to negative okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now what we have here is we have all the patients their first time when they tested positive the dates and when they tested negative after that now one catch here is you might think that rank equal to one and positive so this part is sorted for us that this gives you an information that this patient id tested positive for the very first time on this particular date that it is possible that you know you have multiple rows for same patient id why because let's say this person tested negative on two times on 25th of january then let's say 1st of february so you will also have another row why because this join right so if i just drag it down this join is patient id equal to patient id patient id will remain same and test date for the positive is going to be less than the test date of the negative right so that is why you need to also rank based on this test date now and assign that okay order by this in ascending order because right now what you have is you have the first positive and then when the person tested negative so if you rank by this and in ascending order and then again filter where rank 2 is equal to 1 then what it will do is it will say that okay first time tested positive and first time tested negative after that testing positive for the very first time then you can calculate the number of days so what we can do is we can play smart here is we can here only so let's remove all this because we don't need all this stuff we can do let us perform a ranking right so row number of and since this is a window function so over partition by each of the patient id so c1 dot patient id 
and then order by c2 dot test date in ascending order let's alias this as rank 2 and what we can do is we can also calculate the number of days between the test date and the test date that is first test date where the person tests positive and when the person is testing negative how can we do that we can use date diff and then c2 dot test date and c1 dot test date and let's alias this as what is required in our output we can look at it as this is called recovery time so let me just copy this here and paste it here right so as recovery time let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output okay so now what we have here is we have the patient id 1 and rank 2 is basically what it is denoting the first time this person has tested negative after testing positive right so what we can do is now we can save this entire thing in another common table expression so cte2 as let me just drag it down this entire thing goes into parentheses as well now what we are going to do is from this common table expression 2 let's alias this as c in the output we also need the patient name and age right so right now from ct2 you have the patient id and the recovery time you also need patient name and age which comes from this table patient so we can perform a left join on the patient stable alias as p on c dot patient id is equal to p dot patient id and what do we need we need to make sure that it is the first time testing negative after the first time testing positive how do we do that keep only those rows where c dot rank 2 is equal to 1 then what we need is we only need certain columns so select c dot patient id p dot patient name p dot age and c dot recovery time and we need to also we need to also order this by recovery time right so we write order by recovery time so c dot recovery time in ascending and then by patient name so p dot patient name let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah if you look at this this is accepted our output is exactly same as expected output let me go ahead and sum it to see pass all the test cases or not so yeah this is accepted and this is how we do it so yeah somewhat tricky why basically what we did was firstly we found out okay for every patient and result ordered by the test date what is the first time second time third time this particular patient was tested positive negative inconclusive etc once we had that what we did was we performed a self join of the common table expression on itself so that we can get that okay the first time that you are testing positive and then you when when all you are testing negative so it could be first time second time third time and all that and we need to make sure that okay whenever you are getting the negative result it should be after when you are testing for the very first time positively once you had that what we did was we calculated the recovery times and everything as well and then made sure that we only have in the output the difference or the recovery time between the first positive date and the first time negative date after testing first time positively we had that and then we also made sure that we have the patient name and age in the output as well so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better more efficient solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video